JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for January the 12th. I am Haralamos Pissuros, Head of Research here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest, and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded lower against all but one of the other major currencies on Tuesday during the Asian session Wednesday. It, it gained fractionally against uh, JPY while it lost the most ground versus CAT, AUD and NZD in that order. The weakening of the US dollar and the Japanese yen combined with the strengthening of the risk-linked Lunios in Kiwi suggests uh, that uh, market sentiment turned positive yesterday. Indeed, looking at the performance of the equity world, we see that uh, major European and US indices traded in the green with, with uh, the improved appetite rolling into the Asian session today. European shares may have rebounded after ECB chief economist Philip Lane said that uh, the ECB does not see Eurozone inflation above 2% in the medium term, despite rising to 5% in December which means that they are sticking to their view of no hikes uh, this uh, year. Later in the day, Fed Chair Powell testified before the Senate Banking Committee and his remarks may have improved further investors' appetite. The Fed Chief said that uh, the US economy is ready for higher interest rates and a balance sheet uh, reduction to combat inflation, but he said that the committee is still debating approaches with regards um, to the process of reducing its uh, balance sheet and that this could take two, three or four meetings before finding consensus. Although market participants did not alter their bets with regards to, uh, to rate hikes, the market reaction suggests that Powell's comments were not as hoggish as many may have sought in order to continue selling stocks and buying uh, in order to continue selling stocks excuse me, and buying dollars. It seems that he confirmed the market's uh, view on interest rate uh, liftoffs, while his no rush approach on the balance sheet. Uh, policy allowed uh, for uh, uh, allowed for uh, some increase in uh, in risk exposures. After all, he appeared less aggressive than some of his colleagues on the matter. Remember that on Monday, Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic said that high inflation and a strong economic recovery were on the rapid rat down on of uh, Fed asset holdings. Now attention turns to the US CPIs for December where expectations are for further acceleration. The headline rate is forecast to hit 7% for the first time since uh, 1982 and the core one to rise to 5.4%. However, with equities rebounding strongly, even with uh, those forecasts being publicly known, we believe that uh, for investors to, to start uh, pricing in a more aggressive strategy by the Fed again, inflation may need to surprise to the upside. Anything else may allow participants to continue buying stocks and other risk-linked assets and perhaps keep selling US dollars for a bit more, at least until Brainer's testimony, which is scheduled for tomorrow. To be honest though, given that before her, before her appointment, Brainer was considered a policy dove, we see uh, very few chances for her appearing more hoggish than Powell did yesterday. Now, as for the rest of today's events, uh, during the European session, we get Eurozone's industrial production for November with the forecast pointing to a slowdown. While later in the day, as every Wednesday, we have the Energy Formation Administration report on crude oil inventories for the preceding week. We also have four speakers on uh, the agenda and those are Bank of England MPC member John Canliffe, ECB Supervisory Board Chair Andrea Enria, 
Minneapolis Fed President Neil Kashkari and most importantly Fed Board Governor Lael Brainard. We may get an idea on what she thinks in regards to monetary policy before her testimony tomorrow. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly market, out weekly market outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock AM GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.